you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Becca and today we have another plant unboxing video I'm so excited right now got the baby monitor on and everything so hopefully we can get through this nice and quickly before my kids are awake and I can share with you guys everything that came from this order now this order is from Bremley and Bloom which they are a regular website as well as an Etsy shop and just for full disclosure I did not get these for free however I did receive a discount on these items which basically just allows me to buy more to share a better experience with you guys essentially by having more stuff I'm ordering um, and I do also have a discount for you guys which I will have down below so if you want to buy anything there will be a 15% off discount in the description box that you can use for your order at Brumley and Bloom as well. Now basically I went on I ordered everything that I wanted to try out for this order and we are going to unbox everything from this big old box right here and pretty much just share what I grabbed to show their like selection and everything and kind of the condition it came in and all of that fun stuff um, but as well you can of course also check out their Etsy shop because they do have I believe over 40,000 sales and they have really good reviews so that's another way that you can check out and make sure that whatever shop you choose to buy from they have good reviews that's why I do enjoy buying from Etsy when I can just because I can go on there and make sure a shop has a lot of reviews and that they're all like four star and up kind of reviews so you can really know that it's good customer service and good plants but anyways, I'm going to cut out as much of the uh, cutting things up as I can and just show you each plant as I take it out. Alright you guys, I'm excited for this one. This here is a Skindapsis. It is a Skindapsis Skindapsis Exotica right here. Um, I do have a Silvery Anne and I really enjoy it. So I really haven't had a lot of other Skindapsis quite yet. So I knew that I wanted to try some new ones out. This one is pretty big. It's a pretty full pot. It's a little more bare in the back if you can see, but this is a lot of leaves on it. And honestly, they're all looking healthy. I see a new growth point in here, so it's definitely a nice healthy plant, and it doesn't look like it's a ton of cuttings. I hate when, I, I know this is super normal, but sometimes when you order any type of like pothos like plant, it'll be like 10 cuttings of like a single, you know, cutting put in with one leaf and then I find that those take a really, really, really long time to take off and grow. Where this one looks like if there's cuttings, it's only like maybe three, which is pretty awesome. So it means that this is already actively growing with all of these leaves in here. But again, everything seems super healthy. She's so pretty. I love the leaves on this one, actually. They almost have a bit of like a shine to them on the underside, but this one is nice and super healthy, which makes me really excited. There's only like one leaf that's a little bent, but I think it's actually new. So it probably just needs to kind of acclimate, but Oh, beautiful. That is such a gorgeous one. And I will say this is another one of those shops that I think has pretty good prices. I only buy from shops that I find have better prices, honestly. Um, plant number two here. This one is a bit smaller, but this is a Skindapsis um, Silver Splash, which again, super pretty. I love that. But yeah, this one is a bit smaller. However, I do see two active growth points that are popping up and there are three leaves that are all pretty good size and they look like they're all in good shape. I don't think I'm gonna lose any of these leaves from shipping stress or anything. So that's really great to start. And again, there's definitely at least two points of growth and potentially one stem that might be a little bit pregnant there. So it looks like it's actively growing and it's, again, in really good shape. Now for the record, these are different sizes because they are sold as different sizes. The pictures will tell you the size of the plant you're going to get. So these are two different skindapses. This one's in a four inch pot that was labeled as very full, where this one is a, this is a two inch or a three inch? I think this is a three inch pot, but it will tell you if you're getting a plant that's a little smaller or a little bigger. All right, first Hoya here. This is a Hoya Sipitangensis, if that's how you say it, I hope. Um, I've mentioned in a previous video that I'm really into Hoyas right now that can be sun-stressed, aka they turn red when they're in a higher light. And this is one that I've seen people sun-stress and it gets really pretty veining when it's sun-stressed. So I thought, you know what, let's try this guy out. As you can see, it, ha it already has a beautiful big vine. I see a new leaf up here. There's tons of roots growing off these little vines that are up here. So definitely a healthy plant that again is actively growing. 
There's one little dead part of a leaf that's pretty normal to knock off leaves from shipping. Baby's crying, one sec. All right, I had to put my baby back to sleep quick. She woke up from her nap a little early, of course. Um, but anyways, yeah, looking at this plant, she looks pretty good and healthy. Like I said, there's a teeny little leaf. I don't want to touch it and risk knocking it off, but this beautiful vine here has a couple different pieces that have more growth, as you can see, coming off of it. So she's looking good. I think this is going to be a happy plant. I mean in great shape so I'm definitely happy. I haven't seen this one for sale at too many of the shops that I shop at personally yet so it's definitely a fun find for me. My next Hoya that I purchased is a Hoya Dekii, I believe is how you say it. It looks like a Hoya Viola because I've seen a lot of that Hoya and I feel like they look very similar but I have not seen a lot of this Hoya. Um, I, I've tried to look it up a lot and I've seen some people have said that they struggle with it so I'm a little worried but I was like, you know what, let's try her out because it's so cool looking. These leaves have the coolest veining to them. They're big, they kind of had a, a weird curve and like a heart shape on the top. Um, it has two vines already. There's a vine right here under this leaf that looks like it's actively growing and happy. And then there's a big uh, vine right here that is still growing and happy. And then of course, three big leaves. So definitely a happy plant. It looks good to me. Um, I see a tiny bit of root action at the bottom, which is nice. It means it's got nice big roots. Um, but yeah, I mean, another just healthy, happy plant so far on a first come first serve kind of basis. But the veining is so cool. This is such a fun one. Uh, this shop does seem to have a pretty good selection of some of the um, Hoyas that are a bit harder to find, at least in my experience. So that definitely makes it fun that like this is one that I really hadn't heard much of, but I wanted to try my hand at. Next, um, one thing that you'll notice with this shop is they offer a lot of starter Hoyas, aka they're in these teeny tiny like two inch pots and they only have a couple of leaves so they're little newborn baby Hoyas essentially but it allows you to try out more Hoya plants at a much cheaper price because they're at the price of a tiny little baby plant and I really enjoy that but of course they're already rooted, it's not buying a cutting. You are buying a rooted plant but it's going to be nice and small so you can get a little baby and honestly I prefer for that as much as I can because I enjoy watching my plants grow from a much smaller size and being able to say that I really grew it and watch that whole process rather than buying just the big plant and I also like to have the cheaper price. So this is a Hoya Macrophylla right here. Um, it does have one big vine going up and it has two nice big leaves. I wanted to buy this as a starter because a lot of people love this one. I see people talk about it so much, but I've never been super attracted to it. So I thought if I try it in just a little one, then I'm not wasting a lot of money if I don't end up loving her. Um, I will say that I like the leaves a lot more than I thought I did in photos. I just wasn't super impressed by it. Um, but they are definitely cool because they're very, very textured and almost like scaly looking. The only thing I noticed with this plant that could be shipping stress um, is the backs of the leaves here have a spotting and that worries me. I don't think it's a pest. I'm pretty sure it's spotting because the soil is really, really, really wet compared to the other plants and I find that if they're shipped with too wet of soil, it can cause a lot of shipping stress. Um, and I wonder if that's what it's going to be. I just hope that it pulls through and it's not a big deal. But I did have a Hoya Australis from a different shop that I had bought. And it got shipping stress um, from being in too wet of soil. And within three days, all of its leaves fell off and it died completely. So I hope that's not what this is. Or if it is, it just bounces right back and it's not a big deal. Um, but I think that's probably what it's from. It's just being in a bit more damp of soil here. So I'm going to try to dry it out with like some cinnamon maybe, and then we'll just see how it goes from there. But it's definitely a nice, healthy little baby. I just hope that the shipping stress doesn't, doesn't take over. This is the only one I've really noticed any sign of shipping stress. So honestly, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, that definitely happens pretty often. You have to be ready to kind of acclimate your plants and ready to kind of nurse them back to health because there's not really any telling if they're going to have shipping stress.
Alright you guys, we are on to our last plant here and I got two of it because I was so excited. This is another starter Hoya, so again, very cheap when they're starters. That's why I love getting these little baby ones, but I noticed they had Hoya Linearis in their shop and I was so excited. I have been on the hunt for a Linearis. They can be pretty expensive even just for a non-rooted cutting still, at least in my area in uh, Georgia. Um, so I got two of the starters because I wanted to make sure that it ends up being happy and healthy and growing, but they are super cute. We got this little guy here, and then this one here, which this one's just a tiny bit fuller, but they both look really good to me on a first glance. They have nice fuzzy leaves. These ones are not wet like the macrophylla, so they don't seem to have any sign of stress. I see little roots growing on the vine. And yeah, I mean, they look pretty good, so I'm really excited to get these acclimated, and hopefully they'll grow pretty quick. I'm really excited to have this one, especially as a starter plant that's already rooted and was a really cheap price compared to what I see these going for. Alright you guys, that was my full order from Brumley and Bloom. If you guys enjoyed this haul, let me know if you want to see me haul from this shop again and kind of review it again, but my overall review was that everything came beautifully out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Out of 7 total plants, I only have one that has any sign of shipping stress, so that's pretty impressive because I have a lot of plants that a lot of plants that have been sent to me definitely have shipping stress. That's just kind of a normal thing with shipping. So that's pretty awesome. I was able to find a little bit more rare of Hoyas. They were really good prices, especially on the little starters. And I was able to find lots of fun plants. Um, and again, I do think they also offer free shipping over, I believe, $35. So that's also super fun to add in. But overall, great experience. Really, honestly, quick shipping. And I can't really complain. I think everything came looking fairly beautiful to me and just like the photos that they were listed as. So I will be putting in a good review on their Etsy shop. You can look out for it. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with it. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, let me know below what other kind of plant style videos you might want to see here on my channel and I will be sure to get them done for you guys. Uh, but be sure to subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram down below and chat with me over there. And I will see you guys next time.